Lake Ontario, one of the five Great Lakes, a body of clean water that has been used since the very first settlers that came to Canada. It is beside one of the largest cities in Canada, Toronto. It is the 14th largest lake in the world. Once home to an abundant amount of species, it now serves as the city of Toronto's water source. Now it has a reputation of being full of waste and garbage. Would I allow my children to swim in Lake Ontario right now? Probably not, to be honest. Um, and, yeah, to be honest, I don't think I would allow them to swim in Lake Ontario. Have you ever experienced any waste or garbage when swimming in Lake Ontario? Yes, I have actually. I've um, come across quite a few water bottles, some paper bags, some garbage bags, all other stuff. It's a pretty long list. We asked some people around St. Anselm to rate the cleanliness of Lake Ontario on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd give Lake Ontario probably a 3. Like, it's not clean, but it's not, like, really bad. A 4 or a 5. Two. I would um, rate Lake Ontario's cleanliness um, an eight. Um, I would rate it a five because I'm not sure quite sure like what's gonna be in the waters. A five. Eight. Two. two. I'd give it a four. I would give Lake Ontario about a seven because I mean all lakes do have garbage in them and I've never really encountered garbage in Lake Ontario. Uh, I'd give it a six. I'd give it a, I'd give it a six. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'd rate it like a four. Nine out of ten is what I would rate Lake Ontario. It's, I, it's very safe and very clean, and especially to swim in, and I do swim in it quite often in the summertime. It's right by my house, so I love it down there, but it's very clean. Lake Ontario is our number one source of major fresh water and should be treated with care. Even our sewers are connected to the lake. One day we interviewed our teacher, and he had some interesting things to say. Is there any controversy or problems that you've ever experienced with Lake Ontario? Um, nothing that I've experienced personally. I do remember hearing um, a few years ago two things. One, we had a cottage and there was... Um, mussels or some sort of zebra mussels, invasive species in the lake that were on the sides of the rocks so in parts of the water. And I think also there was something with goose droppings and the E. coli of the water, the E. coli levels being raised and people not being able to swim on certain days. They had a flag system. Uh, blue meant you could swim in it and other colors meant you couldn't. And some days the E. coli reading, I think, would be higher, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, thank you. There is lots of garbage in Lake Ontario, and hopefully the countless efforts of cleanup crews will help reduce the amount of garbage in the lake. However, it is not just the cleanup crew's job to take care of the lake, it's our job as well. We have to be responsible for our own garbage, otherwise it'll end up in our lake, a source that should be kept clean and safe. Take responsibility for your own actions and keep the lake clean and harmless.